certainly probably just a little uh, chip eight or a knockdown nine for the long hitting Spaniard. 13 out of 18 greens he hit yesterday. And there is another one. Good shot there. He's got a lovely swing. Oh, now. Mostly uphill, and then as it approaches the hole, this is going to break left to right. Well, you heard his playing partners say good try, and it was. It was good pace. But you still have to put it in a fair way. You, you're pretty unlucky if you get a bad lie out here. I did see Scott Hen get a couple of poor lies yesterday, but for the most part, the rough is not too punishing. He, he did stay safe. Okay. The first ball safe. University is in the U.S. Of course, he went there to play golf, where he did very well. Well, there's nothing agricultural about the golf swing, is that? This one. No, he's very right. good. That's not a good leave, though, Mark. He's going to have to land it on the top portion of the right side here and let it slide down towards the hole. It has to go down 8% grade, so this will go past the hole if it gets over the edge. Oh, he played it brilliantly. That is unbelievable. I actually left it short. Didn't think that was possible. Go ahead. Wind seems to be dying just a little bit as he addresses the ball, so I think you just want to play this about 120, 121. Just a three-quarter swing. Has he got the distance right? Yes, he has. Starting to turn up the heat a little bit, Adrian Aus, and uh, looking very good. One thirty five to get to the top level, wind helping off the right. Lovely. He's starting to really find first gear now. That just a hair. And with a little bit of wind behind, he can give this a pretty big hit and get it on the upslope going up to the green. Well, he might have lost a bit of muscle mass when he contracted COVID, but uh, he's not lost any distance, that's for sure. That is a monumental three wood up there. Arnaus hit a nice tee shot, got it down on the flat, a little bit below the green from 66th. Not much wind in this little depression where he found himself, but that's heavy handed there. I think he should have laid himself a bit further back in all honesty. He's too close there. 66 made it awkward. And Dom, this is uphill into the grain, wants to break just ever so slightly right to left as it loses pace, or excuse me, left to right, as it did. Grain got him. It's an ugly bogey, isn't it? Arnaus has a good lie here, ball sitting right up on top of the Bermuda grass. He's well below the level of the green, so he has to run up there to see the result, and it's a very good result. Excellent shot right at the hole, slightly uphill. Can't see the bottom of the flag stick from this little depression in the fairway. Wind helping and off the right. If you don't, when you're playing well, if you don't get within six feet with this lofted wedge, you're disappointed. Well, that also looked like it was in a divot, Jay. No, that was a perfect lie, and that was ah. a very poor shot being helped by the slope. Well, he'd be happy now. Whatever it was, He's figured it out well, hasn't he? Well, you know, a putt like this, I used to look at a putt like this and think it's about a foot right to die into the front of the hole. And that is where I'd try and hit it. 
and him and I would be the same. We'd both hold it. Not so. a great lie. He can get the club in the back of the ball, but he's got to dig it out a bit. Well, no shortage of muscle was there to, to dig it out. And if you're going to miss it, that's probably the better side to miss it on. Can they use the slope behind the flag, Jay? Can they go up there and back down again a little bit? I don't think the pin is close enough. I think the tour was very cagey by not getting it too close. Yeah, I get shot. Wow. Magic touch. He got the spin, didn't he? You do not want to come up short. He's on a roll now, isn't he? He played that well. Exactly what he was trying to do, use the backstop. Always important to have a perfect marriage of line and speed, otherwise, you can't make a breaking putt. Oh, didn't he? Just rattled it in in the end. He tried to take a bit of break out of it and add some pace, and that was well hold from Adrian House. Three in a row. Hat trick. Just a shot behind. Driver at the 15th for uh, oh, House. 415 yards, this one. Go on, get out of there. When you're on a roll like this, as you know, Richard, the wedge is your friend. You just feel like you can get it inside of five feet every time. Oh, yeah, this is a real inviting one, isn't it? You think, oh, just six feet left of the flag here. Oh, oh that's a beauty. No, you're right, Jay. When you are on a run like that, you just, everything looks Beautiful, you just can't wait to get to it. Back to the tee at 17, and our Nas, our co leader. You've got the twizzle of the club going now. That's always a good sign as well. He's so strong, Mark, isn't he? I mean, that's just a, a, a huge three wood, isn't it? He's a couple yeah. of times today, he's hit three wood off the tee, and they've gone well. That's, far as most players drives. Surprised that he gouged that, a big deep divot. There you go, new leader. Five birdies in six holes for Andrea Naus. That's just brute force, isn't it? It's down the right side, so it needs a break. I hope it's run through into the grass. That would be a bonus. He won't have any issues at all reaching the green. Asking it to land softly. Okay, well, it's about three and a half feet. Go on, get in. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Home in 30, 14 under par. And 14 under par leaves him right at the top of the leaderboard on his own. Well, I would say uh, I've been playing pretty smart. Uh, I'm after six days of playing this golf course, you know what spots uh, are, are better than others. So, uh, you know, uh, even though I played uh, really solid, uh, sometimes when you don't have it all, uh, you just got to be smart and place it in, in the right spots, give yourself some chances, and uh, that's what we did today. And uh, we, we became a bit cold in the middle of the round, but uh, stayed patient, and obviously at the end uh, of these last uh, few holes uh, paid off. And really happy to, to be able to make some birdies coming in. As you said, in the middle of the round, you, your yardages were slightly off. What was the reason for that? 
Uh, yeah, well, I would say that um, on, on six, uh, I, I placed the ball where probably I shouldn't have. Maybe it was more like a two iron from the tee. So that, that was a tricky little shot that we uh, got into 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 the green. But uh, that um, didn't turn out so good with a bogey. And uh, it took maybe a few shots to, to get back uh, in a calm state. And I guess seven also wasn't so sharp. But uh, from there, I, I'm really happy how I played. and. And yeah, uh, overall, really happy with the day. You've had 41 birdies and two eagles over the two weeks. Why do you like this course so much? Uh, well, I guess I, I really like courses that uh, make you think. So I get uh, myself uh, in a good position and I enjoy that a lot. So yeah, even though uh, it seems like pretty reachable on par five, you still got to think. So all that uh, makes me go out there and I'm trying to play my best. and and it seems like I'm doing pretty good. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.